I gave them bases. So now Giraffe will stand up. Hello, this is Glenda with Freylands and Friends. No, I'm not wearing the same shirt. I ordered all in the same color. <laughs> because it was cheaper that way. And I chose this color because of backgrounds and all of that. It shouldn't clash with much of anything. Well, yesterday evening and last night, there were severe storms all through Nebraska and parts of Kansas. And we didn't have any thun uh, any tornado warnings right here last night. The night before, there were some engaged, but they were like um, just at the bottom of our of Gage County, and just at the very you know right up by Lancaster. So it wasn't actually us here in Wymore. And then last night, we had thunderstorms all night long. <laughs> I think I finally decided it was safe to go to sleep at about between 4 and 5 o'clock. So I dozed off on the sofa so that I could hear the alarm on the machine if it did go off, if the electricity did go off. And that's my big thing. If during thunderstorms and stuff is the electricity can go off. And we had one that really gave me a big scare one year. So since we had so much rain and it was been pretty warm the last couple of days, it's been muggy. So we did not take the plants out on the porch yet. <laughs> And I wasn't able to go out on the porch and stuff. I just, that humidity just, it's, it's, the air is just too heavy for me to breathe. So what I have done is I've done some stuff with the clay and I'll show you what that is. And I think that you'll agree it's a good idea. I gave them bases. So now Giraffe will stand up. And I gave Camel a base as well. I want to do the same with the others, but something I learned, I've been, I've been watching this, uh, that Ace of Clay, and he always makes big stuff, which is fine, except I don't, I'm not making big stuff yet, and, but he always does all this twisting wire and stuff, and so I watched this other one, and she showed how she twists the wire for a four-legged animal, and that is helped me a lot and so I was able to make this wire just for like a small four-legged animal and this one would be probably the shape of a horse or a zebra that looks more like a zebra than a cow because <laughs> my I feel like my zebra looks more like a cow I can make a more of a horse shape face on this and then make it into a zebra. I don't have my new clay yet, which is going to be the white, so I'm not going to work on this yet. I just kind of wanted to let you see where I'm at with these. But I do have my lion. Of course, he stands pretty well. So I don't know if I'll put a base on him yet. Because I, I do want to make kind of a zoo thing out of them, but I'm beginning to wonder about the board. But I have learned something about boards. <laughs> Those boards, I, and I've seen Ace of Clay and some of the others use them. But what they do with them, I've seen them use them for a base that's got like all these little cute things on them. Like if you want to make, you know, if I wanted to make a, a zoo world or something... But I've also, one of the things they do is they'll put like little holes in to stick their wire, the end of their wire in. And then that way they can pose their animal in any way they want. Because when I made this, the giraffe, the thing is I wanted him to look a little bit like he was walking. You know, he's staggered just a little bit. And... It didn't let him stand up very well, so thus I made him the stand. So I am going to be 
using this one I think for the zebra and I'll be able to well I'll probably do like I did with the others and make a, this kind of a one of those kind of stands but <laughs> maybe for a tree to hold a bluebird <laughs> I can have a little hole or two drilled and then I can put a tree on there or a, you know like a branch or tree and I can set I can figure out how to make that bluebird and put it in there and that would be awesome <laughs> so I don't know whether to start with the bluebird tonight or not I think I will try but I'm not gonna bake it if it doesn't look right okay we're gonna try and see if we can make a bluebird and I will probably use the leg part that I make on him to hook him to a tree. So I'll wait on that part. But I just want to see if we can get him started tonight. See if we can get something that looks like a bluebird made. Just for the fun of it. <laughs> okay, I've got this little bit of clay here and I'm just going to make a kind of an oval he's going to be little so he doesn't really need okay now what I've seen of bluebird it really looks like an egg don't it <laughs> hope you can see all this okay I might take a little piece. Well, let's see how it goes this way, though. Later, I might use wire. Okay. And, you know, if this works out, I'm going to find out that birds are easy to make if it works out. I have got some yellow and I'm going to try and make a little beak. Oh. Aww. <laughs> I think that's a cute little beak. Let's get real, let's get a little creative. Oh, he's got such a tiny face. He needs some very, very tiny eyes. That one little tiny silver one. There's the other little tiny silver. We're going to give him some silver eyes. <laughs> Why can't a bluebird have some nice shiny silver eyes and his little blue self? Oh, I think that's perfect. <laughs> what do you think of that? Isn't he cute? Let's make his... We'll see if we can get his head to join to his body here so it's not looking like it just... Found itself sitting on top of there. And could roll off at any time. Push those eyes in just a little more. Mm, tools. Okay, I don't want to unround his head, but I want it to look like part of his body. <laughs> oh, 
he's a cutie. So far, he's a cutie. Give him some tail feathers. He's got a little wing. See that? I knew this blue was going to be a really good color. <laughs> but I can paint some, some darker blue in some spots so that it's, you know, so he's not so monochromatic. I can give a little bit slightly darker blue maybe to the wings and tail and stuff like that. I think that's about the same size. It was until I dropped it, smushed it. Okay. Just to get a little idea. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Meet Mr. Bluebird. <laughs> I think he's darling. And I think I will bake him. If we decide, we can always make another. And I think I'll leave, leave the toothpicks in so that he keeps the pose. That way I can, I can do something with that pose later. Because, <laughs> I mean, he is a little blue bird. He should have his nose up in the air. Because he's a birdie. I won't bake him yet. I want to make his tree. But we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> and maybe I'll wear another one of my shirts. And maybe I'll just not. I don't know. I need some different colors once in a while. My sister stopped by. She called me. And she said, well, how, would, 
would you mind if I stop by for a visit? And I said, well, she said, well, I don't have a mask. And I said, well, I've got some extra masks. I could loan you one. She says, no, she says, I'm outside. <laughs> I said, you're out. Yeah, I, what are you out walking? She says, no, I'm outside. I mean, you outside my house? Yes. Here I am sitting on the phone talking to my sister standing outside on the side. <laughs> So all I had to do was go to the door, and we had a nice chat with the phones on. <laughs> but at least we could not yell that way. And so we talked, we had a nice chat, and got some wave, smile and wave, and it was fun. It was so fun. And thank goodness it didn't rain until that night. <laughs> so... Have a good one. I just had to share that. So we love you. Please do subscribe and give us a thumbs up. And click that notification bell so that you know the next time I'm on. And we'll see you then. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night.